Hey guys, what is up? It's FG Beats here today. Welcome back to yet another video, guys. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best recording and live streaming settings for YouTube on XSplit. So, I know this has been a very highly requested video, guys, and I finally got around to doing it. Um, so, let's just get straight into this. So, um, to get to your recording stuff, everything is under broadcast. So, for local recording, which is for recording, this is what you would normally want to use. If you have a NVIDIA, you'll get NVENC up, H.264. I would definitely recommend using this instead of your CPU when you're recording. I use your GPU, which just makes, see it, all right, as it says, it records videos with GPU encoder for virtually no performance hit. So it's not going to perform, it's not going to hit the performance on your computer when you're trying to play games, unlike you're using some of these programs. It gives you so much FPS lag. This is what helps fix that. Your quality, I would do ultra high. It just makes it look the best out of anything. Um, you can. I usually put my bitrate at 192 if it's not already there, and just keep it on stereo. File output, I like using an MP4. That's just my preference. You could use FLV. It depends on whatever you want to do with it. And split files, I normally wouldn't do that because it gets to a pain when you're trying to find certain clips for editing. You can optimize it for YouTube if you want, but sometimes that will constrain it, and it um, just depends how you upload to YouTube. Um, it's also good to force a constant frame rate when you choose your frame rate. So that's pretty easy, simple settings um, just for the local recording of that. Now, you go into the settings of the application in here, you'll see you have all this kind of stuff. So there's delays, there's your microphone, you pick which one you want to use, your system sound, all that kind of stuff. You don't want an audio preview on because you'll hear it back over again unless for some reason you need that. Um, a system sound, you'd normally just keep that on default. The reason why I have delays on is if you're playing on a next-gen console and you're using an Elgato HD60, is um, it will delay the sound so then your voice syncs up with it. So then my voice and then if I'm talking to other people on Skype on my computer, that will both they'll sync up to the Elgato sound. And it's 650, that's in milliseconds. And it syncs up. That's the way that that works. Um, general... All this stuff's automatically really done. You don't have to worry about that. These are hotkeys. You can assign them for certain things. I really don't need to do that. You can, This is where you can link all your profiles for, as you can see right there. It's my profile and advanced. Um, you really don't need to mess with any of this besides audio in these settings. Um, then once you're in there and you're done with that view, usually you just want to, you don't really, have, this is just like, um, for your editor and like to for preview you can preview all your kind of things that you've done you can add sources but i usually would just do that down here um if you guys want me to make a um, video on about adding sources make sure to uh leave it down in the comments and i'll work on that as well now when it comes to youtube live streaming so this is mine um so this is a bit more complicated for the, this is all live streaming um so with youtube gaming and live streaming on youtube now um, you're, you would authorize your channel. I'm obviously already authorized in here. Um, that is an old live stream that is just in there still. I don't know why it's been stuck in there for a while. I have to fix that at a later date. You can put in your description, your tags, everything like that. I normally have it all preset on YouTube, so I don't really do that. I um, put out that all on YouTube instead of typing it in here. But you can do that if you like. Category gaming, obviously, if you're playing gaming or whatever you're live streaming, make sure to put the right category. And public, because you want people to be able to see your live stream. Um, set details before every broadcast, I would definitely do that so you can set your title, description, and tags every time before you stream because obviously you're not going to be streaming the same exact thing every time. Um, here you want to test your bandwidth. So as you can see right there, my bitrate is at 8,800, which is the highest YouTube allows to stream at, at this moment. That all depends on your internet speeds. So um, depending on whatever your internet is, you'll have to look that up of what a good bitrate would be for your internet speeds. Just look at your upload speed and you'll be able to tell that. Um, of what you're able to stream at. So I don't need to see the logs, but you can see all of it going through here. It should be done testing in a second here. It's got six seconds remaining. And this will just tell you, is your internet capable to be able to stream at this bit rate? See, I just got green, which means it's good. Um, green, see, test result green. Green, the target bit rate was achieved. No frames were dropped. Yellow, um, not all for measure. You should lower the bit rate or retry. Red frames drops were present. You should not stream at that bit rate. Um, same thing with the recording. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, definitely use this. It's going to make your recording 10 times better. And uh, you can't change CFR. That's your bitrate I was just talking about. Audio encoding, I also keep that at 192 and keep it on stereo. 
Um, you could automatically have your recording saved onto your local drive. There's no real reason to actually have to do that because YouTube will automatically save them after into YouTube unless you want them saved. You can. There's no reason to do that. And then if you're playing games um, like competitively and you don't want people for whatever reason to be up exactly with the stream, you can put, enable a stream delay. So then let's say you want it to be an extra minute behind. Um, streams are usually about 30 seconds behind anyways in real time, so that's a normal delay, but you can add another minute onto that, so it'd be about a minute 30 seconds behind, and it's just so people aren't exactly where you are um, during the stream, so if you're playing like competitive games and stuff like that, you don't have people um, view, view whatever, like view cheating or whatever, however that works, I don't deal with the competitive side of any kind of games really anymore. Um, but that is really it, guys. Um, that is how you stream and record best settings for YouTube and YouTube gaming for live streaming, um, which is what's something I do every single day. As you guys know, it is a passion of mine and I love it. And I have been requested a bunch, to, as I said, to get this video out. So thank you for everyone for watching. If you haven't yet, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm doing giveaway, a big giveaway on uh, Instagram once we hit 8,000 followers. So go follow me at FG Beats. That's for both of them, Twitter and uh, Instagram. Just add FG Beats. Thank you guys for all the continuous support. Love you all and peace out.